So today I have three different journals with me. I have my iPad, which I journal in this from time to time. I have the five minute journal that I still use. I do have a video on this and my thoughts. And then I just have a regular paper journal. So I guess you can tell that I'm going to be one of those people that says journaling works because I have three. I have three. For me though, it's been an off and on thing. Like I would be journaling every day for like a month and then I won't write anything for a month or two or four. It just happens basically on how I feel. If I feel like journaling helps me get, um, just like clear my head or helps me work through whatever I'm thinking or I need to use it as a way of basically keeping track of my moods and how I deal with getting from one situation to another. And I will start with the five minute journal for that. So if you haven't seen my other video, that's fine. I'll link it. Probably will forget or I can't, I won't be able to do it. My computer's crazy, by the way. But the five minute journal, basically, it's not, it's not a free writing journal. It gives you prompts. It asks what you're grateful for, what you would like, bleh, what are you grateful for? What would make today great? Your daily affirmation, three of me, and then like in the evening, it you can come back to it and it says three amazing things that happened today, and how could I have made today even better? They also have these little quotes at the top of each page. It's undated, so you can start and stop whenever you feel and doesn't you know you're not wasting a book. Um, and it, it's helped me. When I need, to, when I go through those times, when I need to remember to be grateful, because as crazy as I may think my life is, or as bad as I may think things are going for me, they really aren't. You know what I mean? Like I, I just have to accept the fact that I'm not gonna have good days all the time. I'm not gonna have great days all the time. But you know, I'm fortunate. So that's the five minute journal for me. I use it more often than not, but it's not like a I have to. The next thing that I use very often is I, I created a journal in the Good Notes 5 app on my iPad Pro. Because I'm on my iPad Pro so much, it's it's easy for me to just open an app. You know what I mean? You open it and then I can just go to... Let me come back out because I you don't need to see what I was doing. So I have a planner, notes, this one. So I have one that I, I have like this. It's just random notes, right? I'm not going to show you my journal one. It's kind of personal and there's pictures on there that I don't necessarily want online. So I would do that and then I would just have a blank page. And I, I would go to town. Like I would literally just write. And because, again, because this is portable and I'm on it anyway, it's it's easier for me to just pull it out or take a second and close out the app that I'm in and just open the good notes app go to my journal and just like do a brain dump really quickly or just uh, voice my feelings um about what I'm currently going through what what I just thought about or whatever feelings resurfaced from a prior conversation situation whatever and it 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 helps for me again I'm only talking about what works for me and then this is my paper my paper notebook. This is my ride or die, tried or true. Um, 
it says thoughts of ivy the queen perfectly imperfect i don't know if i can make this legible but yeah it's just a regular notebook that i use as a journal the pages are white there's lines on them so <laughs> you really need to know but you can basically use any notebook and turn it into a journal these are for the days like today it's kind of gloomy it's it's dark dank wet it was raining off and on and these are one of the days where i would just curl up with a good book and a cup of coffee if i have the time and i would read but these are also times where i would pull out my journal and i would just write because now i'm thinking of like I'm thinking of my week, I'm thinking of my month, I'm thinking of um, something that happened where I could have handled a situation differently, I could have um, done something different to get a better outcome, I, I could have just not said anything, I could have spoken up, like, you know, just, just stuff. And it also gives me a time to sit and reflect and when it's just me and my journal. Hey guys, quick thing. So I just realized that I was holding my phone up for everyone to see while I'm editing this. And um, I didn't even know I was holding my phone. So yeah, I really don't want to refilm. So kind of. Uh. No TV, no music, no people, nothing. No other distraction, just me. My notebook and a pen I am forced of that forced to just pay attention to my thoughts and because sometimes it's such a jumble up there my journaling will look like I'm taking notes at a lecture hall and it's just like a note over here and something over here and something over here and then I'll write fluently for like three pages but there'll be little breaks where a thought popped into my head and I didn't want to forget it um oh this would be good for a YouTube video oh I wonder if I have that um that recipe like there's so many things that just randomly pop into my head when I'm when I'm forced to just be with my thoughts that I can jot down in my journal and um it becomes extremely helpful when I'm going through stuff and I feel like not not really a pity party but like I'm struggling to deal with the current situation it's like maybe a woe is me or a how dare you or what the fuck ever because you know we're human we're very emotional creatures but after that moment has passed and then I go back and I read my thought process and how I was feeling while in it because while you're in it you aren't always thinking clearly I'll be able to read it and I'll be like girl you was not, you wasn't all right and it it helps me reflect on how far I've come from then to now and you know stuff like that so I say all that to say does journaling help it helps me immensely I think it will help a lot of people if they just open up to it. I I don't I don't see any harm in getting the thoughts on paper, whether it's physical, digital, um, video, audio, it, it really doesn't matter. Like if you get it out of your head for the most part, I believe that you have a a calmer mind, a clearer space to think and evaluate and sort through our everyday trials and tribulations so journaling i'm an avid believer avid believer especially now between um my review of the five minute journal to now wow sometimes the stories i go back on and i look at and i read i'm just like Some of the things I even forgot. But when I read them, it's like, ooh. Yeah. I think everybody.
everybody should journal. It'll, it'll just put life into perspective. Um, yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for 2021 because I feel like I want to bring another journal into my life. Don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll, we'll see. I'll figure it out. But that's it for me. My rambling shall stop. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys.